Welcome to Utila. This is our first time coming over to a sister island of Roatan, Honduras, part of the eight islands in the Bay Islands. As you can tell, it is absolutely breathtaking. We are in the main bay on the south shore of the island. You can also, well, from a distance, you can see Pumpkin Hill, the really the only part that has elevation in Utila. It's a much flatter island than Roatan, Honduras. And what's really great about this island, well, it's a bit, it is quite a bit smaller in size, also in population. It has a population of around four to 5,000 people, but probably a little bit more just like Roatan, which has 110 or 130,000, depending on who you ask. So what we are doing right now, we are going down the main street and I want to do an aerial flyby so you can see how well, how beautiful, how beautiful this bay is, how densely populated, how populated it is. And it's also basically one road, which is really nice. Uh, but what's also great about Roatan, or excuse me, Utila, is we don't have cars here. It's mostly tuk-tuks, scooters, golf carts, lots of golf carts, four-wheelers, and things of that nature. So no taxis like you get in Roatan, Honduras. But Utila as itself is a stunning, stunning island. And I love all the architecture, the beautiful wooden homes, very common here. You get the nice wood detail, just the very classic Caribbean feel. You have the houses built on the water, most of which are dive shops or something of that nature. I believe there are 27 dive shops in all of Utila, which is, well, quite a few uh, for not that large of an island. Uh, right now, you can see a lot of the restaurants, a lot of, well, the commerce is done over in this main bay. Uh, the wind's kind of hard, so I couldn't show you the main road, uh, but we'll go down uh, taking, taking a little scooter ride in just a minute. But you can tell just how pretty this island is with the different colors, the different architectures. And it does look, even though it's very, very close to Roatan and it is part of the Bay Islands, it does have its own unique, beautiful feel to it. I absolutely love coming here. It's one of the vacation spots. What you're looking at right there is the uh, the pier for the Utila, the Utila Dream Ferry. So if you're coming to Utila, most people do take a ferry. There are private plane charters, but most people do come via ferry. Uh, so you can also tell it is a very, well, water-oriented island where you do have your fresh water and you also do have some swampy or low-lying land. So you do have a bit more water all around just because of the lack well less less hills uh, but wow we're gonna welcome welcome you to the streets of utila really fast and furious right here so uh walkers walkers beware so this is a uh, well you can see the houses and all the architecture this uh this week was actually carnival so they had the Main Street decorated a bit, which is a big event every July uh, for a few days, but kicks off or ends on a Saturday. So right there is where you catch the the ferry. So a lot of people will be coming in from there. This is the Main Street. You can see the tuk-tuks. You can see the four-wheelers um, just kind of, this is a bit of a traffic jam. This is around four o'clock uh, right after the ferry got in. So it is a little bit more crowded than usual, but you can tell there is a lot of hustle and bustle uh, uh, during this on this main street. I'll do another video that does show a little bit more about the main street, what you can find, what to expect when you do get into row it, um, excuse me, Utila. I gotta get it that out of my head. Uh, but you can see just the beautiful wooden architecture and you have a lot of residents along with commercial, um, which you kind of get the combination of both which is really, really nice on this island. So much food. There's food, well, every few feet, you've got a nice diversity of food, lots of dive shops, lots of accommodations, and they're all really, uh, most of them are along this first corridor. Utila, but this is the main road. We're about to go see Utila from the ocean, but this gives you a just a little sneak peek of what to expect when you land on this beautiful island. And well, the main road that, well, you will be on it at some point. Uh, what I really also like is there's so many secluded houses. There's beaches all over the place. This is coming from a dive boat, tons of diving, amazing diving, really nice and healthy reef, just like the way we have all over the Bay Islands. Uh, but when you see these houses compared to Roatan, you're looking at more classic, uh, classic architecture, wooden houses compared to the more modern houses. What we're seeing is the beautiful mainland and all the mountains. It was crystal clear this day. Utila is also great because it has a lot of P's and K's, depending on how you translate it. 
Uh, there are 53 Ks uh, in the Bay Islands, many of which are located in Utila, and many of which are habitated, or uh, people do live on. Uh, a lot of the population in Utila does actually live on two of these keys, uh, which is just a really, well, uh, the keys are absolutely beautiful. You can take a little water taxi over or a day trip. There's lots of snorkeling day trips, but lots of white sand beaches. Uh, here is just another beach on the south side. So this is all coming from the south side. You have so many beautiful options. The deep sea is right, right off the, uh, right off the land, just like Roatan, the Mesoamerican reef system, which is nice and beautiful. But what's nice about Utila, it's just a little bit more relaxed. There's less, well. A lot of lot, lot, definitely less people here and it is just a beautiful relaxing island with a completely different culture and it's just it's one of those places that you just have to have to visit to see and it's just it's it's absolutely wonderful lots of water um, lots of well lots of things to do just like the Bay Islands but if you want something that's a little bit quieter a little bit this is a little bit more backpackery less hotels it's it's well it's absolutely beautiful and I'm so very lucky to be able to come here whenever I like.